Reading for April 9th, Science of Mind, A Philosophy, A Faith, A Way of Life by Ernest Holmes. Reading from page 156, paragraph 3, through page 157, paragraph 3, using inclusive language. Misplaced Faith Someone has said that the entire world is suffering from one big fear, the fear that spirit will not answer our prayers. Let us analyze the fears which possess us and see if this is true. The fear of lack is nothing more than the belief that God does not and will not supply us with whatever we need. The fear of death is the belief that the promises of eternal life may not be true. The fear of loss of health, loss of friends, loss of property all arise from the belief that the divine is not all that we claim omniscient, omnipotence, and omnipresence. But what is fear? Nothing more nor less than the negative use of faith. Faith misplaced. A belief in two powers instead of one. A belief that there can be a power opposed to God whose influence and ability may bring us evil. In other words, to correct all the evils of the world would be to have the positive faith, faith rightly placed, a faith that lays hold of the integrity of the universe, the beneficence of spirit, and the unity of all life. Nevertheless, we cannot have faith in that which we do not, in some measure, understand. Understanding Faith We wish to a faith based on the knowledge that there is nothing to fear. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. The thought of faith molds the undifferentiated substance and brings into manifestation the thing which was fashioned in the mind. This is how faith brings our desires to pass. When we use our creative imagination in strong faith, it will create for us, out of the one substance, whatever we have formed in thought. In this way, we, come, we become a co-creator with the divine. There will never be an end to any of the eternal verities like truth, love, beauty. There will never be an end to spirit, nor to any of the attributes which are co-eternal and co-existent with it. If we are wise, we shall cultivate a faith in these realities. This is not a difficult task, but a thrilling experience. Spiritual substance is all around us, waiting to be formed. Thus we see what Jesus meant when he said, And I say unto you, Ask, and it shall be given unto you. The law must work in compliance with our demand. The divine urge within us is creation's way of letting us know that we should push forward and take that which is awaiting our demand. If the good were not already ours in the invisible supply, it would be impossible for us to procure it in any manner. He openeth his hand and satisfieth the desire of every living creature.